Hi, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar. Today I want to show you how to install your clipper in your Classic to work off your wind turbine. Before I get into the wiring of this, I do want to talk about a couple things on the clipper and the Classic. I want to talk about clearances. The clipper comes with mounting feet that allow airflow behind the clipper and it does have a required distance of clearances around it to flammable items. Please consult the manual that came with your clipper for those clearances and please follow them. The clipper will generate heat under normal conditions. It does have a, a resistive dump load built in to divert the power from the wind turbine. So it does generate heat. So you do want to follow those guidelines. The other thing I want to point out is we have the wind turbine shorted out and we have the power off to the classic charge controller. It's very important that when you install this, you short the turbine out at the base of the tower and you leave the battery voltage off to the Classic until you're all done and the covers are on, and then you can go ahead and turn the power on. So with that said, I want to jump right in. I want to show you the wiring on the Classic. Okay, now we'll go into the wiring compartment. You'll notice we have a chassis ground or earth ground. This goes down through our conduit into our box, into an earth ground bus bar. We have a DC positive input to the Classic. This would be called PV positive. In this case, it's wind positive. This goes down, goes into this box, into an overcurrent protection device, and up into our clipper. We have a common negative, which goes down into a negative bus bar in our junction box. And we have a battery positive, which goes down to an overcurrent protection device in our junction box. Now moving over a little bit farther, under aux 2, we have a blue signal wire here. This goes up to the clipper. This is what tells the clipper what to do when the Classic is trying to control it, it sends its signal through this blue cable up to the clipper. And moving over a little bit more, we of course have our Ethernet connection plugged in here. This is to you know, monitor this over the internet or manipulate it over the internet. We also have a few more jacks and jumpers on this board. We won't go into a lot of detail on those today. This is a battery temperature sensor, I will point that out. Everything else, please see the video entitled Jacks and Jumpers and What They Mean. Okay, now we're done with the Classic. I want to move on up to the Clipper and show you the wiring in the Clipper. Okay, now as you can see, we've got the Clipper installed on the wall. We have our SPDs, Midnight Solar Surge Protection Devices, installed. I want to go inside the box and show you what we've done. We've brought our conduit up from our junction box with all of our wiring. We've brought all of our earth grounds to the earth ground bus bar. We've brought our wind turbine, our three-phase wind turbine, into the three-phase terminal block, as the label says. We've also brought our SPDs into the three-phase terminal block. Now I want to point out down here, this is the DC output of the clipper. Positive on the left, negative on the right. Now I want to point out over here is the aux PWM input to the clipper. This is polarity sensitive. You will notice the brown wire is on the right, the positive is on the right. You need to note when you do the wiring from the Classic, you need to make sure that you keep the positive wire on the positive terminal up here. Okay, now we've gone ahead and put the door on and the cover on the Classic. You can see from the LEDs inside the SPD that the wind turbine is spinning. It's not real windy out, but you can see them flickering with the frequency of the wind turbine. That is common on an AC wind turbine. And so that concludes installing your Classic and your Clipper. Please do see our other video entitled Programming Your Classic and Clipper to Work If Your Wind Turbine. Until next time, I'm Ryan at Midnight Solar. <laughs>